Mr Sylvester had a friend who had been in a prominent position. And because of this friend's prominent position in the public arena, the friend had been receiving rather a lot of begging letters. Save the dolphins, donkey sanctuary, um, put your cat down, etc, etc. But this friend, who had been in a prominent position and was receiving a lot of unwanted begging letters, had also once worked in the post office, where he learnt the trick was to write on the front of the letter, no longer at this address, return to sender, and then pop it back in the letterbox. And this soon stopped the letters. Mr Sylvester also had a lot of letters come which he didn't want. People asking for money for dolphins, cat sanctuary, donkey sanctuary, all this sort of thing. And he felt obliged to read them all and it was rather bogging him down. So anyway, he thought, I know, I'll take the advice or the example of my friend and I'll write on the front of the letter, no longer at this address, return to sender and pop them all back in the box. And it seemed like the begging letters were still arriving. In fact, it seemed like there were even more letters arriving each day. But on closer inspection, he noticed that they weren't actually addressed to him. They were addressed to Mrs Sylvester. But Mrs Sylvester wasn't picking them up and they were growing higher and higher on the hall table. He knew that he was going to have to talk to Mrs Sylvester about this. He said, a while back I wrote on all my begging letters, not known at this address, return to sender. Oh, she said, that's a coincidence. A little while back, I decided I wanted to stop my begging letters, and the best way to do it would be to satisfy these people. So anybody who asked me, I sent five pounds. But the problem was, I seemed to get far more charities asking me for money after this. But what I don't understand, Mrs Sylvester, is why you don't open the letters and they accumulate in a bigger and bigger pile on the hall table. I just can't open them anymore. The pictures and the stories disturb me so much, so I just let them pile up on the hall table and hope they'll go away.